My name is Miss Natalie and I work right next door at the South Columbus Public Library. Has anyone visited me at the South Columbus Public Library before? I see a couple of faces that I recognize. Good, good. I love that. We'll definitely um, go home today and tell your families that the librarian from the public library came to visit you and that she wants you to come over and hang out and play on our computers. We got a play kitchen and we have tons and tons of books, right? You all think that you can do that? That's your homework. Your only homework from me today is to tell your family to come bring you to the library soon. Yes, we are full of books. Every single type of book that you could think of. So what do you think I brought for you today for our activity? What do you think I brought you all? If I work at the library, I think you said it. What did you think I brought you? Stories. stories. I brought you stories. We're going to do some stories. Now, we are going to talk about gardening, but not right away. Um, first, we're going to read a book. And I was going to get some helpers to help me put the dumplings on the board. However, these dumplings, I don't even know what they are. We're going to learn about food from all over the world. So I have to put you in order, otherwise I won't remember who has what. So I'm going to do my front rows. My apologies, everybody. I'll have some from the back rows come and help. Leave it on the table so that I can remember which dumpling you have. But when I point at you, I want you to come and put it on the plate. So just leave it right in front of you where I can see. And don't, don't trade because I need to remember who's, whose order is what. Here we go is my next one. And my tamale. Tamale, yeah, we're going to talk about all kinds of good stuff. Luckily, you have already eaten your lunch, haven't you? Yeah. Good, because otherwise, you might be getting really, really hungry by the time we're done with this book. And then you are my last helper. And then everybody else, others can help me take them off. So, we'll go ahead and get started. We're a couple minutes behind, and I want to make sure that we have time to do as many books today as we possibly can. Okay, this book is called Dumpling Day. Words by Mira Sriram, art by Ines de Antunano. What are all those things in the picture? Where do you use these things? To cook, to cook in the kitchen, right? Dumpling party today in town. Let's all cook and hurry down. Spicy samo samosas point to the sky. Diddy is bringing chutney to dry. To try. One little dumpling on our plate now. All right, come on up and let's put that first dumpling up. This is called a samosa. Has anyone heard of these? I eat these and they are delicious. Anywhere on the plate, you get a pick. Perfect, I like how you held the board open. Good technique. I appreciate that. Apple dumplings, maybe some of you have had these before. Apple dumplings are doughy and sweet. Mom serves up a sticky treat. One dumpling before, then we add one more. How many dumplings now? Come on and bring up our apple dumplings so we can count. How many do you think we're gonna have on the plate? Two, you got it. Stuffed woogok is a crunchy nest. Gorgor -gor always fries them best. Two dumplings before, and now we add one more. Come on, bring yours up. How many dumplings now? Three. Three. Our plate is starting to get full. All right. Fufu balls are too soft to chew. Auntie will serve a nutty stew. Three dumplings before, then we add one more. Come on up. How many dumplings are we going to have now? Four. Perfect. Not quite yet. Let's see. Crispy gyoza. My kids 
are in first grade. And then my little one, she's not even in preschool yet. She still goes to daycare. But this is their favorite dumpling. Go ahead and bring on up that gyoza. Crispy gyoza is filled with pork mix, OG San, pear, packs pairs of chopsticks. Four dumplings before. Then we add one more. How many now? Five. Five. You got it. Golden boricas, cool on the rack. Saba samples the puff pastry snack. Five dumplings before. Then we add one more. How many dumplings Six. are we going to have now? Six. Six. Y'all are so quick. Look at you, you didn't even have to wait for the dumpling to come up and you knew it was going to be six. I am super impressed. Warm tamales are wrapped in corn husk. Prima steams them from dawn to dusk. Six dumplings before, then we add one more. Now how many do we have? Seven. Seven. You got it. Shish Barak. Who has my shish barak? Malaysia does? Good. Come on up, sweetheart. Comes with a tangy hint. Baba garnishes with parsley and mint. Seven dumplings before. Then we add one more. How many dumplings now? Eight. Wonderful. You think we can fit any more on this plate? We're getting close, right? Close to running out of space. Pelmeni pop out of trays that gleam. Babushka scoops thick sour cream. Eight dumplings before, then we add one more. Nine. How many dumplings now? Nine. Here, let's see, we gotta squeeze it in. Push it under that one, perfect. Oh no, we're gonna have to find that last piece of Velcro. We are getting tight. Ravioli burst with soft cheese. Has anyone had ravioli? Does that sound familiar? Yes. Bambino bags, can I have one please? Nine dumplings before. Oops, did I skip one? Yep. Then we add one more. How many dumplings now? Oh no, where's the last one? There you go. Ten dumplings now. Ten little dumplings and people to greet. Ten little dumplings ready to eat. We eat and laugh and gather round. We party till the sun goes down. Ten, nine, now we're going backwards. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And this last one is for you. I'm not going to read all of this. This is a little bit too much, but I did just want to point out we talked about food from the United States, Italy, Israel, Syria, Russia, Japan, China, India, and Nigeria. That's a lot of countries. They all eat dumplings, but do they eat dumplings the same way? No, no but are they all delicious in their own way? Yes. Absolutely. The Lion's Share, a tale of having the cake and eating it too by Matthew McElligott. Every year at the start of spring, the lion invited a small group of animals to join him for a special dinner. The ant had never dined with the king before. She was very nervous and wanted to make a good impression. When the day came, what do you want to do if you want to make a good impression? You get invited somewhere. You show up late, right? Show up late? No. You, you show up late to school? No. No. When the day came, she arrived exactly on time, not a minute too soon or too late. Sometime later, the beetle arrived, beetle. then the frog, the macaw, the warthog, the tortoise, the gorilla, the hippo, and the elephant. They were all late. Did they make a good impression? No. When dinner was served, the ant was shocked at how the others behave. The elephant constantly talked about himself. The hippo never wiped her mouth. Probably eats with her mouth open too, right? The gorilla threw his food. 
And the warthog tried to eat the flowers. The flowers were not on the menu. What strange manners, thought the ant. She looked to the lion who said nothing. After dinner, the table was cleared and a large cake was brought out for dessert. The lion passed it to the elephant. Please help yourself, he said. All right, so we're doing fractions. So I'm going to get my cake up. We got one whole cake. Who wants it? Me! The whole thing? Absolutely, because no offense to us, we're all kind of greedy like the raccoon, right? I want the whole cake. No, no, we're nice. We're going to share, right? So the elephant looked at the cake. I could eat this in one bite, he thought, but that might seem greedy. With a grand gesture, he cut the cake in half. So what is the fraction for half? One slash two. Okay, so he cut it in half and... He ate a whole half of it. With a grand gesture, he cut the cake in half and passed the rest to Hippo. What a pig, thought the Hippo. But if he's taking half, I'm taking half of what's left. So what is half of a half? Remember, we just, we just double this number. One, one fourth. You got it. Half of a half is one fourth. All right, so she cut what's left in half and handed the remaining one quarter of the cake to the gorilla. This continued around the table. So each of them are going to take a half. So the gorilla takes half of a fourth. What does he have? What is four times, or four plus four? One eighth. It's what the gorilla gets. Say that one more time. No, no, no. What did you just say? You said, that looks so small. It is a lot small, smaller, is it? Are they getting equal shares of the cake? No. No, absolutely not. So what does the tortoise take? The tortoise also takes a half. So what is half of one-eighth? Remember, we're doubling the eight. What's eight plus eight? Somebody said it. You're right, one-sixteenth. Getting really puny now. The warthog took half of the remaining cake. Let's see what we got. Like one, what? Uh, sixteen plus sixteen. Now we're getting a little bit more challenging math, huh? You got it. Okay, and they passed the rest on until. Okay, so what's um, thirty-two plus thirty-two? Sixty. Sixty. Close. What's two plus two? Four. Sixty-four is what we got. Okay, what's half of 1 64? 64 plus 64? What's 6 plus 6? We'll make it easy. 12. 12. And what is 4 plus 4? 8. 8, so 128. 1 128. Okay, it finally reached the ant as she struggled to cut the tiny slice in two because there was basically nothing there. It crumbled to pieces on her plate. All the animals turned to her. Typical ant, said the elephant. She only thinks of herself. When the cake came to me, I shared it. I know, said the hippo, we all did. Doesn't she know the king hasn't eaten yet? Scoffed the tortoise. The warthog, was, who was sitting in her cake, simply shook her head in disgust. I don't think she should be the one shaking her head in disgust. She's sitting there in her cake. Uh-oh. The ant was mortified. Surely she would never be invited back. My king, said the ant, please forgive me. I am ashamed to say there is nothing left to share. But if you will allow, it will be my honor to bake a special strawberry sponge cake just for you tomorrow. It is my grandmother's recipe, and I think you will enjoy it. The king smiled. Thank you, he said. You are very generous. Woo! All right, the ant's off the hook. She's not in trouble anymore. But then what happens? Who does she think she is, thought the beetle. He scampered over to the lion's plate. My king, to show my thanks, I would like to bake you two cakes. We're doubling them now. Double chocolate fudge. Hey, king, said the frog, I'm going to bake you. What's twice? What's um, four. four? Thank you. 
I'm going to bake you four raspberry layer cakes tomorrow. That's twice as many. I can top that, announced the macaw. I shall bake the king twice as many carrot cakes. Eight. And he shall have them tomorrow. You, where do you think we're going with this? Then I'll bake twice as many mud cakes, snorted the warthog. How many is that exactly? What's um, two times eight? Two times eight is 16. Really, said the warthog. That sounds like a lot. Maybe for you, said the tortoise, but I will happily bake twice that, 32. Apple walnut cakes will be ready by tomorrow afternoon. The gorilla looked at the tortoise. He didn't like the tortoise, and although the gorilla had never baked anything before, he somehow found himself offering twice as many banana crumb cakes. So half of 30, or twice as many as 32? 64 banana crumb cakes. Uh, 64? Asked the king, are you sure? The gorilla nodded, but he didn't look sure. All eyes turned to the hippo. Naturally, she stammered, it will be my honor to bake twice as many spice cakes. Let me see. She's got to get her paper out and her pencil out because that is a lot of math, right? She took out a piece of paper and began to scribble some numbers. Her hoof was shaking as she put down the pencil. This can't be right, she said finally. Uh, what's um, 2 times 64? 128. The gorilla grabbed the piece of paper. 128, he announced with a grin. But we have one, we have one animal left. Who, would, who, do, who do we have left? Elephant. elephant. The elephant was crestfallen, but he had to top the hippo. Elephants were twice as good as hippos. With a deep breath, he announced, and I, the great elephant, shall bake twice as many as the hippo. 246 peanut butter pound cakes. 256, corrected the tortoise. Oh, for goodness sake, cursed the elephant. <laughs> I know, right? That night, the ant baked her cake for the king. She took her time and measured everything carefully. She spread the frosting as smoothly as she could, then decorated the top with sprinkles. It was a very fine cake. The next morning, she delivered it to the king, and as she walks past, who does she see? Elephants. Oh, the elephants baking their cakes. How's it going? Good. Eh, not so great. <laughs> Such a fine cake, said the lion. Won't you share it with me?